Hi everyone, I am standing in front of AmbuPod and I have three guests with me here today. I have Wing Commander Dr. Lavanian Durairaj, who's the MD and CEO for AmbuPod. I have Ms. Kameshwari, who's the head of PR and admin at AmbuPod. And I have Mr. Madhur, who is the solutions head for enterprise 5G at Bharti Airtel. And with the help of three of them, today we're going to tell you how healthcare is going to get revolutionized in rural areas. So my first question is to you, Doctor. We understand that medical facilities aren't very easily available in rural areas. You know, people take about 15 to 20 kilometers to reach to a hospital. How will AmbuPod change the face of healthcare in rural India? That's a very relevant question, I would say. Uh, we all know that we have a massive rural population, almost about 900 million are in villages. And yet, 80% of the doctors are in the cities. How do you bridge this divide? The AmbuPod would do that. Now, that's because we have some very wonderful technology called telemedicine, which can bridge this gap. Tele means from afar, medicine means medicine, obviously. Medicine, yes. So, what we need is technology which would allow a doctor from a distance to be able to diagnose a patient and provide certain treatment for it. Obviously, we need something fantastic to do this connect and 5G Airtel is perfect for it. We are really happy about it. So, now that I'm telling you about telemedicine, the AmbuPod goes way beyond. Essentially, what it does is it is, it is there to ensure that we have a clinic which reaches out to a village. Then we have an ambulance in it, which obviously works like an ambulance. And it's also telemedicine enabled. So this three-in-one device, this three-in-one machine, one single machine can actually cover eight villages. And not just that, it can provide daily clinical services, meaning a doctor can see the patient. First of all, of course, access, massive access. A doctor can then see the patient. He can actually see all the vitals of the patient. He can then decide how to diagnose the patient. And then thanks to things like 5G, the patient sees the doctor in front of him in a huge screen which makes him look like the doctor is actually there. And there's a confidence that builds up in him, right? And then the doctor can actually examine his, you know, ECG for example. He wants to hear his heart, no problem. Place the cisco on the patient's heart in the village and the doctor can hear it. And the doctor says, wow, I can hear everything. What else do you need? So everything that needs to be examined, he wants to look into his ear, no problem. There is an endoscope for the ear, you put it in the ear and the doctor can see it. So with all this information, the doctor is able to make a good, good assessment of the patient and prescribe for the patient. The moment he writes a prescription on our special software, telemedicine software, it is instantaneously delivered to the village. And to whom is this being delivered? We have a person who's trained, a doctor's assistant, who will actually pick up the data from there, send it to the doctor and connect with the doctor and speak to the patient there on behalf of the doctor. Wow. So that way, the patient feels very confident he's, he's, he's being actually seen by the doctor. The medical person, the trained person is able to actually touch him and check his parameters. And finally, when the doctor writes a prescription, the medicines are actually handed over to the patient right there in the village like he asked yes he asked for and then he asks for the test to be done the tests are done right there blood sugar no problems urine 10 white no problems you want hemoglobin no problems that's how we do it and most important it's extremely inexpensive in a city you need to pay around 500 600 rupees for an ecg and a report guess how much we charge 75 bucks that's it so, availability, cost with almost nothing, affordability. affordability as you say rightly and of course quality based. That's what we want to deliver to every patient in every village in India. And it is thanks to connectivity and technology that we can give very good healthcare to every person in every village of India. This is great. It's Sounding great. Um, I'll ask you the next question. So, is it safe to say that AmbuPod is 
uh, a clinic on wheels. Yes, absolutely. It's yeah. mobile. It's, it's a mobile, mobile clinic. And it can look after about five, six villages in a day. Wow. It doesn't have to be stationed at one village. The same, you know, the Amboport can travel to five villages, look after all the patients over there with all these necessary things that he's talked about. Yeah. And basically, it's like a woman trying to take a child and walk about a kilometer two when the child is sick. sick. So that is something I think all mothers can, you know, all us ladies can kind of identify with. Yeah. I don't want that kind of thing. I want the woman to feel, you know, that she's being looked after too wow. in a village. And it's right at her doorstep. So okay. I don't think any villager will have it any better than Ambukon. Excellent. Mother, that gets me to Airtel. How will Airtel 5G change the face of healthcare in rural areas? Okay, let me begin with saying that India is a country of very diverse and complex demography. Yes. Now, extension of services including, say, water, energy, education, healthcare, requires government to really spend a lot of time, effort and money to make it reach to the last person in the society. So, in order to uh, uh, make these services reach with this much effort and time is really sometimes not possible. How technology like 5G can help making these services, primary healthcare kind of services, reach to the last person standing is the way how this story is all about. So 5G with the enablement of high bandwidth services and low latency enablement is able to create the technology layer for these uh, healthcare mobile clinics. Now these clinics can move across the villages, can still remain on a very reliable connected network to okay. transfer images video and sound in real time to the remote doctor. Wow. And remote doctor can interact with these villagers and patients to diagnose them, to check their state, and also can, on in a live environment, can have access to their reports, test reports. And this technology is also enabling by this means creation of digital records. Yes. So yes. the people do not have the ways to create digital records for their healthcare yes. and other things. But by this means, I think uh, they will be able to create digital records. At the same time, they will be able to extend the services. It's more like uh, the, the hospital reaching to the, to the village and the person rather than the person moving to the village, which in some cases with these villages, 40 to 60 to 100 kilometers yes. away. Yes. So that way, technology would be a very good enabler. It can stop uh, or it can, I would say, it can really support the government uh, spending the money wisely and rightly in right direction and in some cases it can really absolve the government of making a spend altogether like extension of primary health care services using such mobile clinics. Yeah. That gives a lot of agility in terms of vaccination drives, in terms of handling pandemic cases and in terms of uh, doing uh, proactive management of health as well. Wow, this is excellent. As you all can see, the Ambu Pod is going to revolutionize the healthcare in rural areas, so stay put. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you so very much. It was it's great a having a Thank conversation you. with you. Thank you so much, Thank Mother. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone.